Hey yo, what's up guys, it's me Mr. Gim here and welcome back to my channel. Last week, I have actually shared with you guys the Ether Mini Pro which I have unboxed. If you haven't checked that out, I'll link that in the description below. So today, I'm going to share with you guys more in-depth and how to use Ether Mini Pro. Alright, so let's have a look at the back of the Atom Mini Pro DC power connector, which is something that I like because it's a screw base, so that's won't accidentally pull off the power. Followed by you will see an Ethernet port, one USB Type C output, one HDMI output, four channel HD mixer which support up to 1080p 60 frame per second, and also two stereo 3.5 mm audio input jack. So over here you will see my full entire setup with everything plugged in such as the 4 HDMI input, I have 2 camera, 1 presentation iPad and 1 camera which didn't link up due to my cable has some faulty issue. So not to worry, I'm still going to bring you something today with the lowest budget setup that you will see. So before we go into that, I'm going to explain to you all the button usage so that you have a clearer idea of what, how this Atom Mini work. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you sub click on the subscribe button and be my friend. I'm going to show you a scenario that how a 2 cam live view setup is and today we have a hero over here which is the merlion which I have created back then in 2015 for Samsung Fashion Steps Out which was one of the biggest fashion show in Singapore and I was lucky enough to be the artist to reimagine the merlion drawing and here is the actual sculpture. I will link the creative process behind it so you can check that out if you are interested. So we have a scene ready, we have our camera ready and now it's the time to explain to you guys the button. On the top left hand side you will see four buttons for mic 1 and four buttons for mic 2. So basically they are just input mic that comes into the Ether Mini Pro. You can actually toggle it on or off if you want and to control the volume coming in by pressing the arrow up and down button. So on the bottom left, you will see 1, 2, 3, 4 and follow up by the AFV, reset, on, off, arrow up and arrow down button. AFV means audio follow video mode. Reset is basically a button that resets everything. Your source for number 1, you can toggle it off or on depending on whether your source 1 has any music. So in this way, you will know you are capturing audio from source 1 and you, let's say you toggle it off and you want source 3 to have music just click on the AFV button they will basically bring source 3 audio out from there so another scenario would be your source 1 is your background music while you want to record your source 3 audio from maybe a speaker they can be done too as long as you toggle it on, on for source 1 and AFV for source 3 the picture in picture mode is great that when you are doing an explanation and you're recording yourself, you can just toggle the picture in picture mode and it can appear on the top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right corner. Everything is already preset. All you need to do is just to click on the on button and it will just appear the feed right out to the program. The area below picture in picture it's your transition menu button. So on the left there is 0 0.5, 1.0, 1.5 and 2.0. They are basically transition of the timing. If let's say you are pressing a uh, flip to left, flip to right, dissolve left, dissolve right. They just give your production value a little bit professional but they are just a very basic transition which I believe not much people will use it except for the fade in fade out and in order to execute all these transition you have to hit on the button auto then the transition will react if you are pressing the cut button it's going just going to be a hard cut and I'm not sure whether they are programmable to make it as your own transition I hope they do with their software update hopefully 
Next will be the new button for Atom Mini Pro. So if you're getting the Atom Mini without the Pro version, you won't get this button over here, which focus more on live streaming. There's button like on air. So when you're on stream, you can click on the on air button. The button will blink. There's also the record button, which you can directly record to your hard disk. Stop will just stop the recording to the hard disk. And the bottom part is very interesting. It is the multi view camera. One, two, three, four represents your camera one, camera two, camera three, camera four. MV stands for the multi view, and PGM it's the one that you program out. And the last button will be the FTB. So FTB refers to fit to black. It's always good for opening and closing of the show. So after having a better understanding of all the item mini button works, right now I'm gonna show you the most basic and budget setup on how you can get everything linked up and out to do a live streaming. We have a streaming computer, the switcher itself, a monitor screen, one presentation iPad, two cameras followed by my model which is the Malayan. You get the idea. So right now I'm just going to speed up the whole process of me streaming up to the YouTube and once you key in all your necessary title etc having the stream key and all you need to do is just stream it up and voila you are now live so this is your streaming laptop you see everything in a mirror image but for to the audience they can actually see the correct positions so right now I'm just going to take my, my cell phone up to show you guys that they are actually live but of course when you are doing all the switching this and that they're bound to have delays and the delays are probably around 3 to 4 seconds before it shows to your audience so whatever you do just make sure that you understand that there is a delay to video live feed. Alright guys, I hope that this basic tutorial of the ATEM Mini Pro brings you some value and I really appreciate if you actually watch to the end. If you have any questions, feel free to comment in the comment section below. I read all comments and I try to help whatever questions that you guys want to know and I will just try to figure out if we can execute it out together as one. Be my friend by subscribing to my channel and that's the end of the video. Stay home, stay safe, and I'll see you again soon. Okay, thanks, bye.